Aloha. In this video, I'm going to go over this post-fix notation assignment. And in this assignment, uh, we're supposed to uh, write a Python program that will evaluate a, a post-fix uh, uh, post post -fix expression. And so a post-fix expression is, for example, uh, this expression, um, 1 plus 2 that quantity times 3 would be written as 1 and then a 2 and then the plus sign to add the 1 and the 2 and then the 3 and then the, the multiplication that would add the 3 with the sum of 1 and 2. <clears throat> and so to do this uh, we use a stack and um, um, as we uh, parse the, the expression if we encounter a number, we push the number onto the stack. If we encounter an operator, we pop the top two operands or numbers off the stack, perform the operation, and push the result back onto the stack. So, for example, in, in this one, two, plus three times example, uh, first, the 1 gets pushed down to the stack, the 2 gets pushed down to the stack, and then the 3, or the plus sign, is encountered. So the 1 and the 2 are popped off the stack, they're added together, the result is a 3, and so the 3 gets pushed down to the stack. And then the 3 is encountered, and that's pushed down to the stack, and then the multiplication operand or operator is encountered, and that pops off the two threes, multiplies them together, and, and pushes the nine. <clears throat> okay, so um, I've started Visual Studio here, and uh, this is a stack problem. So if we go to the chapter 8.5 on stacks, uh, let's open up Visual Studio. Let's create a new project. Python, this one, and I'm going to call this uh, post fix expression. Okay, so uh, let's go to the, the go back to Pearson here. <clears throat> uh, the stack, the uh, page here on stack. Uh, this this explains the stack class. Um, these are the methods. Uh, there's an is empty uh, method which returns true if the stack is empty. Uh, there's a peak which just uh, returns what the top object is. There's a push to push a value onto the stack. There's a pop to pop an object off and then uh, a get size to return the size of the stack. And so so I'm going to copy uh, these methods. Let's see, first of all, okay, so down down here is uh, some code to test the stack. So let me um, get, grab the answer to that and I'm going to copy this. copy and I'm going to paste that right here into the main program paste okay so that's that and then I'm going to then I'm going to go get stack which is up here copy um, let's see, click, right click, uh, add, new item, uh, it doesn't matter, I'm going to call it stack, stack, py, and I'm going to paste in the stack class. 
and save that. It's saved. Um, and now let's go back and see what this see what this thing. Okay, so all this is going to do is it's going to count from one one to ten. It's going to push that on onto the stack, and then it's going to pop. Um, it's going to pop each of them off back off again. Let's run this and see what it looks like. Okay, it pushed from 1 to 10, and then it popped them off in order, and, and it popped them off in reverse order. Okay, so it looks like that works. So now um, I'm going to, um, let's put a, well, let's see, I think I can probably get rid of this. And um, I'm going to start by asking uh, for a post-fix expression, s equals um, input, enter a post-fix expression. And uh, let's see, then I want to split that into a list. So I'm going to say LST equals list s.split. And I'm going to assume that, um, that all the tokens or the numbers and the operands will be separated by space at least. Uh, let's see. All right. And then, um, then I'm just going to, uh, uh, scan the, the list, scan the operands for each, uh, V in list. Uh, I'm going to assume that it's either going to be an operand, a plus, a minus, a multiply or a divide. Or it's going to be a number. Okay, it's not going to be anything else. So I can start by saying if v equals plus the plus sign, then I'm going to uh, pop off the second operand. Operand two equals stack pop. Pop off the first one. Uh, and if it's a plus sign, then I'm going to uh, add the two. The, some result is going to equal to op one plus op two. And then I'm going to push the result back onto the stack. All right, uh, and uh, okay, so um, I want to display out something to indicate that that's what I've done at this step. So I'm just going to print print out. Uh, let's see what I did was I popped I popped op two, and I popped. OP1, and then I um, computed um, OP, uh, OP1 plus OP2 equals res and 
then I pushed yes okay set oh I have to put a comma here okay um, that looks good and uh, then oh, no, no, uh, and then I'm going to do el el and there's going to be one for uh, minus multiplication division else if it's not any of those if it's not plus or minus or multiply or divide then it must be a number so if it's a number then I just want to push and I'm gonna um, consider it could be a floating point number so I'm gonna say float that should work with an integer too uh, push that and I'm gonna print push Okay, and um, so that's the end of that. When, when, uh, when the list is exhausted, then the top of the stack should have the answer. So I'm just going to print answer. Uh, is I'll just say stack peak. How's that? Uh, hmm. All right, I'm going to try this out. Uh, one space, two space, plus space. Uh, I'm going to use four. Oops. Just work out plus space, four space times. Enter. Push the one, push the two, pop the two, pop the one, plus the two is three, push three, push four. And then we encounter the multiply about three. Oh, 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 no. I forgot to go here. This is plus. This is minus. So this has to be minus. And this has to be minus. And this has to be multiply. And this has to be multiply. And this has to be divide and divide. Okay, let's try that. One space, two space, plus space three space times enter and the answer is nine that's correct uh one push one push two three push three push three yep okay it looks good all right uh i hope this helps thanks for watching